Welcome to Talos, I'm Jackson. Today I'm going to be focusing on a really key aspect of productivity called OCR. When I first started using text-to-speech, I very quickly ran into a problem. I had a lot of paper textbooks that couldn't be read on my computer. Sometimes if you have a disability, you can show the publisher a proof of purchase and they'll send you an electronic copy. But what happens if that doesn't work? You need OCR. So what is OCR? OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition. Basically, OCR is when your computer extracts text from images or unsearchable PDFs. For example, if I scan a book, I'll only have the image, but I won't be able to listen to it. If I OCR that image, however, it will give me a text version that I can listen to with all the tools that we've already mentioned in previous videos. The problem is that most OCR tools are really expensive, are hard to use, or are really low quality. For example, one of the best OCR softwares, Abbey Fine Reader, can cost around $100. It might be worth it, and if you're at a university, you should definitely check with your library or office of disabilities to see if they have OCR software available to use. Libraries and businesses often have access to services like Census Access or Adobe Acrobat, which can OCR. But not everyone can have that or can afford that. Well, over the last few years of searching, I've actually found a few great options that are completely free. So in this video, I'll be covering three things. One, how to get your books on your computer. Two, how to use OCR.space, which is an incredibly powerful converter. And three, how to deal with some common issues. In other videos, I'll also cover how to use OCR on your phone. So let's jump right in. So the way I suggest you get your book on your computer is that you use a feeder scanner and a paper cutter. So you can find a feeder scanner maybe at your local library or at work, or maybe you have one or a friend has one, but just make sure you can access one of those. And then also you can use a paper cutter at some local staples, so some of them will actually let you do it for free on their machines as long as you're the one cutting it and not them. You can also scan every page on your computer or your phone by taking a picture of each page, but that just kind of takes a while. And I will show you how to do that most efficiently later, but yeah, it's kind of inefficient. So also just be careful because if you share these OCRs, you could run the risk of hitting legal barriers. And remember, we aren't giving legal advice and aren't responsible for anything you do with the OCRs. Now, a lot of people think I'm sacrilegious or something for destroying books, but here's my philosophy on this. Books are meant to be read, so if you can't read your books because you're afraid of cutting them open, then your books are kind of useless to you. So I'm totally okay with cutting books open, and I think more people should be open to that idea. So once you actually have your file on your computer, right, as a PDF, you can just open it up and just see how it would look. So you can't select any text, you can only select a page because it sees it as a single image, right? And if you try hitting your shortcut, nothing's going to happen, right? So what you need to do is you need to go to your browser and type in ocr.space and hit enter. So ocr.space is a site that uses, I believe, a cloud-based OCR service to OCR your documents. It's actually quite powerful and it's also free. So click choose a file and select your file. So this is my file and click open. Now you don't need to paste the URL. This is if you wanted to use a website or an image or um, something else and you wanted to OCR that, you could do that as well. Then you're gonna select your OCR language. It should be automatically set to English, but if you are say using a Korean document or something else, you might wanna select that. And then you have these three options. So here are the three options. You have the option to just extract the text and show an overlay. So basically what this is, is you just get a text document with just the words, no images. It doesn't like look like a PDF anymore. So let's just show you what that looks like. Okay, so it only took about 33 seconds to have this to finish. Um, obviously I sped it up in the video, but yeah. So now you can see if you go down, um, you can't download a searchable PDF because we didn't choose one of these two options. Um, but you can see, there's the text right here. Okay, you can see the entire article all in text form. And if you want to download it, um, you can also show the overlay. You can see um, how it did it. So anyway, um, so you can download this uh, text over here by hitting the download button. And uh, it should download right here. See, so you see result.txt. And if you click on that, you can see all the different text. And if you want, of course, you could put this in a Microsoft Word document. You could actually convert it to a PDF if you wanted it to. You know, you can do all sorts of things with this. But now you can listen to it. So let's say we wanted to listen to the beginning. Let's say like this. The Department of Defense has released details on major defense acquisition. See, so it's pretty quite, pretty quite accurate right now. So anyway, 
that's the text overlay or just the um, the text itself, right? And um, this is very useful if you want to say paste this into another program like Capti or Microsoft Word or um, Ghost Reader if you want to read it using a third-party program. But we're going to use another option right now. So there's create a searchable PDF with a visible text layer and Quite honestly, I don't like this option at all. I think it's very ugly looking and it doesn't work very well. So we're going to create a searchable PDF with an invisible text layer and I'm going to hit start OCR. All right, so again, it only took about 40 seconds, so less than a minute, and you can click download searchable PDF right here. So it will open it up in Google Chrome. If you want to actually have it downloaded, you have to click the download button on the top right, uh, right next to the print button. And you can save it wherever you want. I'm going to rename this as, uh, you know, selected acquisition report 1995. And I'll save this in my downloads. And so if I want to read it later, I have it in my downloads folder. And I can either drag it into Chrome or I can open it in Previewer. Now, I've noticed that when you try to open it in Previewer, um, selecting the text gets a little bit strange um, for some reason. It's kind of hard to select the, just the text you want to. I'm not sure why it is like that, but it is. So I tend to drag it into Google Chrome or you can hit open with Google Chrome. So you can either drag it into Google Chrome or you can two finger click it and hit open with Google Chrome and it'll pop up right here. So anyways, you have it open and you can select as much text as you want and then you can click your listen button. The Department of Defense House Rella set a tells on major defense acquisition program cost and schedule change. So you may notice that it got some words wrong already, um, and that's okay because it's not perfect, and no OCR program is, but it's pretty accurate compared to the rest of the free ones. Like say, for example, Tesseract OCR, if you want to get quality this good, you have to do a lot of work to make it uh, accurate. If you want to buy, say, Abby Fine Reader, definitely you can try doing that, but it's very expensive. I would suggest you at least start by trying this free one and see if you like it. And if you want better quality, go to Abby or something else. If you want better quality, the actual text document that we had made earlier um, is actually much more accurate. So if you look at this and you compare them, so the Department of Defense has released is is very clear. But if you try to read this here, it has released. It, it some for some reason it's just not as accurate, and I'm not sure why because it's doing the same exact OCR on the document. But whatever it is, if you want the most accurate, I suggest you use this text right here. So that's how you get your OCR. Um, you can listen to it with whatever service you really want now. Alright, so one of the main problems with this website is that it only takes files that are less than 5 megabytes small. So um, if you go into your finder, um, you'll notice that it says 6.1 MB next to this document. MB stands for megabyte, KB stands for kilobyte, and uh, GB stands for gigabyte. I doubt you have anything um, that's over a terabyte uh, that you'll need to uh, OCR. But anyway, so a kilobyte is smaller than a megabyte, so if it says KB, then you don't have to worry about anything. If it says um, GB, then you um, are definitely going to need to split it up a lot. But if it's 6.1 megabytes, uh, you, all you need to do is split it into two documents that are you know, one half and the other half, so it'll be like two, three megabyte documents. Uh, so the way we're going to do this is we're going to download a program called PDF SAM. So just go and type in PDF SAM. PDF SAM actually stands for uh, PDF split and merge, right? So SAM, split and merge. And then go to the first website that pops up and click download. You're going to need to go again and find the basic version and click download. And then you're going to need to find the Mac OS version um, and just wait for it to download. All right, so it's pretty much finished downloading. We're going to just click on the DMG file and it will install it. Now you're just going to need to go to Finder and um, go to Applications, oops, sorry, and then drag PDF SAM into your Applications folder. PDF SAM, double click it. I can eject this here. And yes, it's okay as long as you're okay with that. And then you can see it kind of looks a little bit dated, um, but it works really well. So I'm just going to click the split button. Um, up here you can see browse, so click browse, find your file, and that is uh, this one right here because it's 6.1 megabytes. And then it's going to say split after the following page number, so you're going to click that and you're going to say 75. Um, because it's 150 pages, I want to split it after this page 75, so it's two different documents. You could say split it after every you know 75 pages or something like that. You could also do that if you want. You can choose where to like let it 
uh, export, and I'm just going to let it do it into downloads. Um, don't worry about overwrite if it already exists, and then generate a PDF document with a prefix. This basically just says that the document will be called, you know, um, one PDF Sam, um, you know, whatever your document's name is, and just hit run. Again, it'll say, you know, there. Oh, there are already files in this folder. The only instance where this is a problem is if you have a file with the exact same name that you're going to create. Otherwise, it's not an issue. So hit overwrite and it finishes really quickly. And so then you go into Finder, go into Downloads, and you have two documents, one PDF Sam underscore, and then 76, because there's one page one to 75, and then page 76 to 150. And you can see that one's 3.3 .3 megabytes, and one's 2.8 megabytes, but they're both smaller than six megabytes, which is the important thing. So go back to free OCR, uh, or sorry, OCR space, go click choose file, and then click your first file and hit open. I'm not gonna go through this entire process again because there's no real point, you already know how to do it. So yeah, that's how you do that. And this is how you deal with uh, larger PDFs that you need to OCR. Well, I hope this video has been helpful for you. OCR is a really powerful tool that enables you to read really anything you want. And you don't have to worry about you know, emailing the publishers or having someone else help you type it out or something like that. All you need to do is know how to use OCR and then you can read pretty much anything you want. So don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions, like and subscribe, and also share this video with any friends that you think might need it. See you next time. <music>